<laughs> oh, I knew today was the day I had to make a video. A video about Man United. We took on Newcastle United. We drew 3-3 in probably in Manchester United's most entertaining game of the season. Um, I had to make a video about this. I want to discuss this Newcastle United game. I want to discuss about, you know, United, Manchester United in general this season. Just give my thoughts and opinions about the club. Excuse me if I'm sweating because it is like 42, 43 degrees here where I'm living at the minute. It is hot as hell. So, um, anyway, let's get into this Newcastle United game this morning. Man United as a club. Mate, I just... I feel I had different opinions to other Manchester United fans. So that's why I'm here making this video. I, I just... I, I watched that game this morning and I thought... If anybody was lucky to come away with that 3-3 draw, it wasn't Newcastle, it was us. We were outplayed by Newcastle United. They outplayed us. No disrespect to Newcastle United, but going into this game, I've got some stats here. I wrote some things down, alright? Newcastle United have not won a game in five games. They haven't scored a goal in four games. Four games, they haven't scored one goal. They scored three against, you know, the mighty Manchester United defence this morning. You know, sorry to say Newcastle, but you guys are, are, are relegation battlers. But you know, you might be saying, hey, you know what, Curtis, that's only one game against Newcastle. You can't look at football like that. Well, I've got some facts about Manchester United and our recent games, all right? Now, let me read you some names, okay? Newcastle United, all right, Sheffield United, Swansea, Chelsea, Stoke, Norwich, Bournemouth, Fulsburg, all right? They're recently games against opponents that we've played recently, okay? Now, out of all those games, we've won only two. We're talking about Manchester United here. We're looking at a Manchester United team that has spent over 200 million, or at least Louis Van Gaal has spent 200 million, all right? And the two teams he got the wins off was Sheffield United, a 93rd minute penalty to Wayne Rooney, 1-0. We're through to the next round of the FA Cup. That's embarrassing. Swansea, we beat them 2-1 at home. Swansea, again, another team that's battling for relegation. Losses to Stoke, Norwich at home, Bournemouth. This is embarrassing. The, the state of Manchester United, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's ridiculous. And I want to point out something too that not many, too many people mention this. And I feel, you know, it gets overlooked out way, way too much. Everyone talks about, like I just did, Louis Van Gaal, he spent 200 million. Look at the players he's bought. They should be doing better, but... Louis van Gaal, have a look at the players that he's got rid of. You know, people say we play boring football, which I totally agree. We do. We, we're terrible. But have a look at the players that have left the club. The attacking threat that we could have at, at our disposal right now. Angel Di Maria. Javier Hernandez. We all know how good he's in form at the minute. We've got Nani. Gone. Robin Van Persie, gone. Danny Wilbeck, gone. Shinji Kagawa, Wilfred Zara, even he's staring up at Crystal Palace. James Wilson, Yanaze, out on loan those two. We, we, you're not telling me what we couldn't have done with Adnan Yanaze this season on that flank, whipping crosses in. You know what I mean? That li look at all those attacking players right there. Look at this fact I got for you right here. We have won our last six games. Out of a possible 20. 6 out of 20. We're talking about Manchester United here. That's a percentage win rate of 30%. We have won our last 6 games out of a possible 20. Wow. How has Louis Van Gaal got a job? Can someone tell me that? Because I do not know. Honestly, if that was anyone, that was Moisey, he would have been sacked twice by now. Newcastle, United, you know, we got a, we got a penalty. Right for, we gifted a penalty. For me, no way in the world was that a penalty. Very, very, very harsh. Had his back to the ball, trying to jump, had his hand, like, very, extremely harsh. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't a penalty, but like, oh yeah, penalty guaranteed right there. No, that was extremely, extremely harsh. Jesse Lingard scored a goal, brilliant goal. Uh, good build-up play from Wayne Rooney, who I thought, where has this player been all season? He was pretty good today. Wijnaldum goal, lovely, lovely goal. The uh, header from, uh, what's that kid, Mitrovic to Wijnaldum on the volley. That ball didn't even touch the ball, the ball didn't even touch the floor. 
You know, when it went inside the box to the back of the net. That was unbelievable, that goal. And then halftime, we go 2-1 up. You know, thinking, all right, cruise the game out. But that second half, let me tell you, Newcastle United absolutely bossed that game. Mitrovic popped up with the penalty. Of course, that was a penalty. Chris Smalling, you can't be doing that. Mate, this ain't the WWE, mate. You cannot be grabbing people by their shirts and ripping it off them and trying to get them into a guillotine headlock. I'm sorry, my friend. Penalty all day. 2-2. Two, two. And it looks like Newcastle were, were going to score. They scored. They literally did score. Ronaldo, you know, put them 3-2 ahead. But it was offside, you know. So we were lucky there to stay in the game because they were pressing like motherfuckers at that point. Wayne Rooney scored a marvellous goal against the runner play from a run from Memphis to Pi. Now, I want to talk about Memphis. A lot of people have been critical of Memphis of late. And I've got to say, Memphis... He needs time to gel. you got to look at him. He's only 19. Him and Martial, they're only 19 years of age. They need time to develop. And you can see in that run there, the kid is going to be a jet. We just need to give him time. You can't expect he's going to deliver this season, next season, the season after. He needs three or four years to grow into his body, into you know a winger at Manchester United. He will come good. Seen that goal for Rooney there. Unbelievable. Waza, you're back, are ya? I think you got man of the match too. We'll see if Wayne Rooney's really back. And then, Dummett with a cracker outside the box. Deflection of Smalling. But in my honest opinion, I went away from that game. And I thought, 3-3. I know we should have won that game with the chances Fellaini had. The chances that Jesse Lingard had too. But we were outplayed by Newcastle United. They deserve the draw. If anything, they deserved more than a draw. All right, Fellaini should have scored. You know, Jesse Lingard had that beautiful chance. But other than that, we didn't even have the ball. This is meant to be the Louis van Gaal philosophy where we keep possession, where we, we just dominate teams. But we got dominated from Newcastle. That, like, that doesn't make no sense. Like, where do we go from here? You know, do we sack Van Gaal? Who's available? You know, Pep Guardiola is going to City. We all know that. Liverpool, you know, they're up and coming with Klopp. Arsenal, they look like they're about to win the league. What about us, Man United? Do we go get Jose Mourinho? Possibly. Does he steady the ship for the next year or two until we find someone else? Do we get gigs in? Do we keep Van Hal? I don't know. I have no idea what we do. Honestly, I'm just dumbfounded with our club. And in my honest, humble opinions, Man United, in the next 6 to 12 months, I think we're going to be in for a rude awakening. I honestly can't see us qualifying for Champions League. We're going to be stuck with Louis van Gaal at the end of the season. And I don't think we're going to be getting the players that we need to get in a transfer window unless we get a big manager like Pep Guardiola, which is on his way to City. So who do we get then? Is Mourinho going to find another job elsewhere? You know, what's going to happen? I don't know. Maybe your thought's better than mine. You know, tell me what you reckon. Where do you think United's going to finish? Which players do we need to bring in? We know which players. We all know which players we need to go. That's been quite obvious for the last six, twelve months. But I honestly don't know where we go from here. You know. But um. Anyways, I might be getting back into doing match reviews because today Man United pissed me off. They got me fired up. But um, I will say this was the most entertaining game we had to watch all season. But uh, we got Liverpool next too. Yeah, I'll probably definitely be doing a review for that. <laughs> but until next time, lads, I've been your boy, Curtis7. Take care and peace.